All right there, this is um, a showcase of the tire inflator air compressor that I bought on Amazon and um, it's something I um, find that it's convenient and it's portable to use to inflate um, my car tire. Uh, but there's multiple uses on, on it as well. Um, so my reason for purchasing this was because I had a uh, deflated tire one time and then the tire pressure kind of um, went cuckoo. So uh, and I do drive a long drive to work back and forth so that was a safety concern as well. Um, so this item has the device itself and a, a bag, a carry-on bag. Uh, along with it inside, you can find, you can see that there is this for multiple uses for your uh, for a bicycle, and inflatable as well. So the device itself has two two cords. So there's the longer one, which is you can see it's for your light your car light circuit socket. And then this one, the other one is for your for your um, for a wheel or tire, where you uh, connect to it. Um, it's a simple DIY video. I'm going to show you how to, how I use it. I by no means I'm I'm an expert on in cars, car mechanic. So, but I find find it convenient. So let's do it right now. Okay, so this is the car I have, um, and that's the wheel, that's one example of how I use it. So make sure the, your, oops. So you can set this um, inflator device on the, on the ground and have one of your, so the car, so the longer cord is your, it's gonna, the device that will connect to um, a light so socket. So make sure, like I said, it's the it's a 12 volt uh, cigarette light socket. Um, so, okay, let's see. The car is not fully prepared, but I'm gonna just get these out of the way. So every car has its own uh, light socket. I'm gonna go on here. See, oh, I'm just gonna take this out. Okay, so I'm gonna connect that right there. Clean up a little bit of it. Okay, so. I'm gonna let the car run right now. Make sure the car is parked. And it's gonna... Okay. Once the car light socket is connected and you can see this is already showing you a, uh, the digit. So I set the mode in PSI um, and the reason is uh, for each uh, every car has its own uh, sticker which shows you the tire PSI pressure. It's in PSI uh, unit. So, and here, here you have it. You know, with, with my car, it's on this, on the front, front side here. So, um, so the information here is showing that the front will have a PSI of 36. Okay, so the rear will be 33 and the spear to have uh, 60 PSI. Okay, so it, it's telling me it's already on and you know, this is the... All right, so I'm gonna connect this in a way to find out how, how much pressure PSI does the uh, wheel has is to simply unplug, the, unplug this side here uh, make sure you don't forget this. Let's put it here, for example. Put it here on the ground. 
I'm gonna connect this. You can hear a little wheezing sound. And right now it's saying the device the, the wheel itself is 33. So I need 36. Uh, usually I, so what I do is I just set this higher to where it is supposed to be. So I set a little higher 30 36, I set it to 37. Right? So 37 so which that's where it should go. So now it's 33. Okay, currently with the car engine on all right I'm gonna so the device itself has an on and off button so I just press this to go on up right now it's making the sound so I let it sit for a little two, few more seconds you can see it's going up it's 37 now the reach it to the point is 37 so safely turn off the switch uh, it, uh, or you know what it also will turn it off for you turn it automatically turn it off for you so that's another uh, feature of this inflator so it automatically turn it off once it reaches the point where it's supposed to reach that you set, uh, which is 37. So I'm just gonna unplug this. And turn it back on. And just put it back on here. Close out the valve. And, well, that's, there you have it. Pretty simple to set. Okay, I'm just gonna put this back here. I'll show you the box itself. It's what it has. It's convenient, multiple uses, easy to read, LED flashlight, uh, which is this part here. Prevent order over inflation because it auto automatically shut off for you once it reaches that point. So these are the features. Um, you know, these are the dis three display units. The one I show you was the PSI. And like I said, mentioned a couple of times in this video, 12 volt is what will be compatible for your light cigarette light socket. Well, there you have it. And this is a review of the EP Auto 120 volt portable tire inflator device, inflator compressor. Okay, thank you for watching.